Hey, people, peeps, how's it going? Hope all is well. Today, we have a very, very highly requested video here on the channel. Today's video is about what mods I use in my FIFA 21 modded player career mode and West Ham career mode series, and also how you can install them and play them on your own uh, saves. Uh, but bear in mind, this is for FIFA 21 PC. You have to have it on PC. If you're on PS4, PS5, whatever, you can't get mods. Uh, so you have to have it on PC. Uh, and also, I'll try to link the mods I use in the description down below. So you can just click them and go download them yourself. Uh, and if you have any other questions regarding uh, the installation process, the download process, or if you just missed anything in the video, feel free to let me know and I will try to and help you uh, in the comments down below with anything else you need to know. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go through what mods I use, how to put them onto your uh, game, and how to check if they work. Play the intro, let's have some fun. Ayo! 10k subs, yeah? Davey's done it again, done it again. This year the Brody hit 10k, next year that's 50,000 subs, I swear. So if we go over here then, uh, to the right of the screen, this right here is the first thing you're going to want to download. This is FIFA Mod Manager. So what you're going to do is open up Google or whatever search engine you use. Type in FIFA Mod Manager and you're going to go here, fifaeditortool.com. Click on download and this is the one you want, Mod Manager. There is also a live editor. Uh, I don't use that, but uh, the one I use is the mod manager you're gonna go uh, go ahead and click download it'll take you over here and it'll say here fifa mod manager ver uh, 21 version 1 1.0.7 uh that if you scroll down there are past versions some mods work better with older versions so you can download any version you like i have a couple versions but uh you click download and of course it will download and once you download it you want to go to your folders to where it downloaded so it'll be in your downloads folder but i move mine into uh, I have a YouTube section, then unzip me is where I unzip all of my stuff. Um, and then uh, the FIFA, these are all like XCOM and FIFA mods. These are all the mods I use, we'll go through them, don't worry. FIFA Mod Manager, and here are the two folders. I have 1.0.6 and 1.0.7, just because again, different mods require different things. Uh, you're going to go ahead, right click it, and click Extract here. You need WinRAR or something that you can extract with. I use WinRAR. Uh, if you don't know what WinRAR is, uh, I'll try to link that in the description too. If you don't know what WinRAR is, Jesus, you're missing out. Download it, uh, extract it here, and it will open up uh, here. So this is the uh, file. So if I go ahead and close that, double click this, it will open up what you just saw. So you double click it. There we go. Uh, it will open up what you just saw, the FIFA Mod Manager. Uh, I have two defaults. So these are all the mods I actually use on my main mods. One, I also I have a default profile, an empty profile, which I'm gonna help you guys use. Um, and then here are the mods. So, uh, so yeah, you want to download that first, and now we have. The FIFA Mod Manager. Of course, here, this will all be empty over here. I'm going to go ahead and close all of these. These are my mods. This will be empty because, of course, you've not imported mods. Before you can import mods, uh, you need to download them. The first mod we're going to download is the Realistic Gameplay Mod. Probably my favorite mod because it changes the entire gameplay and it makes the game so much more enjoyable. I've not, uh, I wouldn't be able to play base FIFA anymore. I, I, I love this gameplay mod. So we're going to go over here, type in FIFA gameplay mod. Again, it will be linked in the description, so it'll be much easier for you guys to find it. You don't even have to Google it. Uh, it'll be, the, if you do want to Google it though, it'll be this one by Paul v 2 k 4 uh, Go ahead and click on that. And right here, download the latest FIFA 21 gameplay mod right here. Click the green download button, and it should start downloading right here. Then again, you're going to go, going to go, going to go back to your folders right here, and you will extract it again. Uh, so again, I, let me just do that for you, just to show you. So you'll drag it, drag it here, You'll click extract here. Of course, oh, whoops, extract here. Uh, of course, it'll say, do you want to um, rename them? Because I've already extracted it, so I don't need to again. And it will give you the FIFA mod file. This uh, MM21, like the, the orange MM21, that's when you know, when it says dot FIFA mod, that's when you know you can uh, install it. So we're going to go back to our mod manager here. Down at the bottom left, you want to click import mods, and then you want to find the mod we just done. So, of course, the mod we just done was the gameplay mod. Uh, whoops, the wrong one. I have two of them. For the Let me delete that one. Uh, the gameplay mod, you're going to want to double click on the FIFA mod file. Boom! And it takes in it. Sometimes said mod install errors, they still work, even if it says error. Uh, it says it was created for a different thing. The legacy. Don't worry about that. Click OK. Uh, and then the gameplay mod, you're going to want to click at the bottom, apply mods. And when it's over here, if it's ticked, 
that means when you click launch up here oh we're not on direct Bob. when you click launch it will launch with whatever mods are ticked uh so let's put a couple more in while we're waiting as we're doing this one 12,653 subs if you've not already the sub button let's try to reach 20k by the end of the year who knows you know leave a thumbs up too if this is helping you by the way uh as this loads but yeah 12.6k not doing too shabby not doing too shabby my internet's going really weird we're doing the turfs real mod next uh, and this basically changes how the pitches look it's an awesome awesome mod uh makes the uh, pitches more realistic gives you more uh options when uh, editing the pitches as well it's an awesome awesome mod if it ever loads ah finally here we go uh fifa infinity by the way a lot of good mods over here we'll check out some others so again uh you go to fifa 21 turfs actually well, why don't i show you so if you go to fifa infinity or oh, let's do this one first so while we're here you click this download button here and it, again it sends you to the download page once you've downloaded it, the same thing, you extract it, come back to Modern Manager, import, then you want to find uh, the Turfs Mod 1, which is right here, Turfs Real. Again, this was the WinRAR file, you extract it, and it comes out with this, so you double click it, it comes here, again, even if it says that's fine, click Apply Mods, and boom, it's in the right hand side. On FIFA Infinity, you have classic boots, which is like the T9, I use that, modern bo uh, boot pack, the ad board and license, so the ad boards are different, GFX mod, which is also awesome, that changes the uh, stadiums around too, there's squad updates, there's modding tools that you can use, FIFA Infinity uh, is, is very, very good for mods, it's very, very good. Last mods we're going to install are the Realism mods, uh, the Fifers Realism mods, again, incredible mods they have a bunch they have uh just a base realism mod they have all the new player faces the cam camera mod i'm gonna add that one of my favorite ones uh oh they're all already added where is it uh and last but not least i'm not gonna add all of them on this video because you can mess around with your the, the ones that you want the the most important one that i've just got working it's not been in my video so far but it's going to be in the videos coming up is the new kits the new kit mod that we got if we go where is it to kits uh uh first graphic and second graphic these two boom add them in i that and apply that and the ones at the bottom on the right as you can see the mod at the bottom has highest priority so you want to put the better the, the the most important ones at the bottom realistically so right here we have the new kit mods uh a realism the camera mod the terse reel and the gameplay mod we're gonna go they're, they're all ticked they're all applied I'm gonna go up here to click launch and it'll come up with this applying mods to the game please wait this may take some time it says up to 30 minutes or longer it doesn't it takes about two three minutes so uh we'll wait for it to launch and i'll see you in the game it is going in the background like i say if you haven't already please do uh, hit the like button and turn on notifications when you subscribe to the channel because it means you get notified when we upload we upload every single day monday to friday uh we also stream link in the description on twitch every single day uh we play a bunch of games over there we've just recently started a southampton career mode with all these mods so if you want even more fifa gameplay even, even more f1 gameplay minecraft gameplay we play a bunch of games over there go follow us on twitch link in the description amongst all my other social medias there's merch that uh, that you can see back there uh there's a reddit there's a discord where we discord uh, every single day where we all talk to each other there's a twitter instagram tiktok whatever you want it's all down there oh it says launching game let's go back as you can see launching the game uh, the mods have been applied literally about two minutes not even that oh again sub count just go go follow me let me close all that there's the lovely background i've got my controller ready i do play with the ps5 controller uh if you can tell it's working because as you can see there uh the background that's not the normal fifa background so if your background changes you know it's working Real kid PC is connecting. If you want to add me on Origin or something, that's my name. <laughs> nice quick tutorial. We don't do a lot of tutorial videos. And we're in. That's the Southampton Criminal I was talking about. So you may be thinking, well, how do I know it's working? Well, if you go over here to edit teams, team sheets, here you can see Bosch. The brand. Well, actually, if I, if I, if I go to kickoff, it'll, it'll probably be better if I go to kickoff. And that wasn't a great reveal. If you go to kickoff, um, <laughs> and then pick a side. So you go to kick off, go to classic match, big, I don't know, Arsenal, Tottenham. And as you can see, let me move my face out of the way. Boom, the brand new kits. As you can see, the 2022 kits. They're on any team, uh, Chelsea, Aston Villa. They're on every team. Uh, as you can see, they're every league. If you go to, uh, oh, one thing I do want to show you too. If you go to Italy um, and you go over here, first and foremost, the Inter Milan new logo. We'll pick them to see them. Also, with this mod, Juventus. They're not... Pierre de Pinto Ponte, whatever it's called anymore. Uh, they are Juventus with all the brand. Ooh, to have a nice kit with a snake. All the brand new kits and everything. Again, these will be in the videos coming up. They've not been on the channel yet because I've just got this kit mod working. Uh, one uh, another way to see if the uh, pitch stuff work. If you go down here, as you can see, pitch type. You can now change all the pitch type. 
or the pitch pattern and also the pitch color can all be changed quickly go into this match and check if the uh camera mod is working Ooh, missed him oh another thing as you can see in the top left again this hasn't been my videos cbs sports uh we have new like tv licensing in the top corner which i think is awesome no more just default ea sports it says cbs sports up there now which Again, I think is incredible. And as you can see there, I mean, you can already tell. All, all the billboards are different. All the banners are different in this mod pack. The grass, as you can see from base FIFA, is different. Uh, you should be able to tell. If you're going here to game settings, broadcast is my favorite camera. Uh, you can change the height, go all the way up. Go all the way down. Zoom all the way in. I mean, that that's how close. I mean, look at this. Mental. The last one I want to show. If you go over here to edit real player, go to mail. And let's take, let's take uh, Aubameyang Lacazette. So this is basic Aubameyang Lacazette in FIFA. As you can see, Aubameyang, uh, like little mohawky sort of trim. Lacazette has a bit of hair and a beard. If we then close out of uh, FIFA and open up the mod manager again. If we go over here to, where is it? Uh, there's a bunch of mods to play with, like I say, you can choose which ones you use if we go over here to the fifers realism mod if you download the realism mod you get all of them as you can see lacazette thicker beard if we're going to apply that one move it above the two graphics ronaldo short curly hair we didn't look at ronaldo but we'll apply that one uh who else do we know smith Rowe. we'll apply him because he's easy to show obamyang with dreads so remember he had the little mohawk before now we'll pick dreads anyone else uh paul pogba bom hair again we didn't look at paul pogba before but that's fine uh, and Martin Odegaard because he's on Arsenal. It's easy. We'll apply them. Put them above the first. Keep the first and graphic, uh, first and second graphic at the bottom because they're the most highly prioritized. Click launch and let's see if Lacazette and Aubameyang and who else was it? Pogba and Odegaard. Let's see if. Well, we only looked at Aubameyang and Lacazette. Let's see if their faces have indeed changed. If they have, we know the mods have worked and we can end this lovely little tutorial video. Again, if there are any things, uh, anything you want help with, feel free to ask in the comments down below. I read and answer all the comments. Anyway. When it says launch in the game, your mods have been applied, of course. It's been applied and it has uh, is going to be starting here. Boom, the game loads up again. You can see the graphic, meaning that the mods have still worked. Again, that, that's the key to knowing if the mods have been applied or not. If your background has changed, and it depends what mod you have. If you have, if you put the gameplay mod, uh, the realistic gameplay mod at the bottom, your background will be like the, the gameplay mod. If you put the GFX graphics at the bottom, your, your, your intro will be the GFX mod uh, intro. Because each mod pack has their own intro. Has their own intro uh, wallpaper. So whichever one you have at the bottom, that will be your background. Let's uh, load in here. Go over to edit player. Mail. And we will go down to Aubameyang. And boom, there you can see he now has dreads. Lacazette is now bold with a thicker beard. Who else did we have? Uh, we had uh smith Rowe. we didn't show you before but there's his face we had odegaard who is still on arsenal right there's his new face with a different haircut uh who else did we show uh well we didn't show before but uh paul pogba now has the bml haircut we need it nice and short we also changed uh where is he mr cristiano ronaldo uh short puffy hair so there you go as you can see the mods do work once, uh, once you add them in, very, very easy uh, to quickly reiterate what has happened here. Uh, what you want to do is download the mods, put them into a folder. Mine are in my Unzip Me folder. These are all my FIFA mods I use. You can call yours FIFA mods or whatever you want. Uh, once you've downloaded them, uh, extract the WinRAR folder and you will get the FIFA mod file. Once you have the FIFA mod file, go to FIFA Mod Manager. Click on Import. Find whichever mod you want to add. Import them. And then click apply down at the bottom here. They'll be on the right side and click launch. It's really straightforward. I'll try to leave, uh, if I can find the links, I'll try to leave all the links in the description of this video. So just go to the description and click on the links and it'll send you to the download page where you can download each mod and have fun with them. I do want to say some mods do conflict with some. So I know this these two graphic mods conflict with the realism mod. Where is it? This uh realism mod here that's why i don't have both of them ticked uh the mods i use for people wondering these are the mods i use i have all the player faces loaded uh all the player faces uh then i have uh, some of the fifers realism ones the turf mod ones and the graphic uh one and two the camera one as well these are all the mods i use if you want to pause it and you know get the same mods i use feel free i'm gonna keep adding some as we go uh but that is the end of 
the video. Hopefully it has all been uh, quite straightforward. Hopefully you have fun modding your FIFA. People have been asking me to do this for ages now, and I keep saying I would. So there we go go uh happy modding let me know anything you need clarifying in the comments down below and i'll see you in the next one i've been hard to be is really good much of us always take care i can't believe this kid my stand up for an idiot kid slap see a man get murked two paintings in a whip on a redis kid in a bat like donny demur sat in a bat like donny demur i think the blonde thing's feeling happy he in the middle he putting in work coming like certain like coffee kawassi if he up top then he's scoring a hattie same way he does when a man plays clubs this year the brody hit 10k next year that's 50 Thousand subs, I swear.